What if your DNA could unlock the secrets of your ancestors, revealing migrations, adaptations, and even traits that make your identity unique? For Russians, their DNA is like a complex puzzle, weaving together countless threads of history, migration, and cultural exchange. Russia's geography plays a pivotal role in this uniqueness. As the largest country on Earth, it spans both Europe and Asia, making it a natural crossroads of civilizations. This vast expanse has allowed different populations, from Slavic tribes to Finno-Ugric speakers and steppe nomads, to leave their genetic imprints on the people we call Russians today. But the real mystery lies deeper. Why does Russian DNA stand out compared to other populations? Why does it show both strong connections to Europe and subtle influences from Siberia and the Arctic? The answers lie in thousands of years of migration, conquest, and adaptation. Through this genetic journey, we'll explore how the history and geography of Russia are written into its DNA. From the icy tundras of the north to the fertile plains of the south, Russian genetics tell a story like no other, one of resilience, diversity, and uniqueness. Russia's unique DNA is deeply tied to its history and geography. Spanning 11 time zones and covering both Europe and Asia, Russia's vastness has made it a melting pot of cultures and genetic influences for thousands of years. The formation of modern Russian DNA began with the early Slavic tribes, who started expanding into the East European plain around the 6th to 9th century CE. But the Slavs were not the only ones to leave their mark. As they migrated eastward, they encountered and assimilated various indigenous groups, including Uralic-speaking tribes in the north and Indo-Iranian peoples in the south. These interactions introduced new genetic elements into the population, creating a blend of distinct ancestries. Geographically, Russia's position as a bridge between Europe and Asia has exposed its population to waves of migration. For centuries, nomadic steppe peoples, such as the Scythians and Sarmatians, traversed its southern regions, contributing genes linked to Indo-European and Turkic cultures. At the same time, Siberian and Finno-Ugric populations in the north added a unique Arctic and Siberian genetic influence. This blend of ancestries has resulted in a genetic mosaic, with Russian DNA carrying markers from both the east and the west. The country's geography, vast forests, expansive plains, and unforgiving tundras helped shape the movements of people, creating distinct genetic patterns that reflect the diversity of the land itself. Russian DNA is like a tapestry woven from distinct genetic markers, each representing a different chapter in the nation's history. Among these markers, the Y-DNA haplogroups stand out as a key to understanding the paternal lineages that shape modern Russians. One of the most dominant haplogroups in Russian men is R1A1, found in over 55% of the population. This lineage is believed to have originated in the Eurasian steppes, home to the ancient Kurgan culture. These were some of the first Indo-European speakers, known for their revolutionary domestication of horses and expansion into Europe and Asia around 3000 BCE. The presence of R1A1 ties Russians to a shared ancestry with other Eastern Slavs, as well as populations in Central Asia and even India. Another prominent haplogroup is N1C1, found in about 5% of Russians. This lineage is closely linked to Finno-Ugric and Siberian populations and reflects ancient migrations from southern Siberia into Europe around 8,000 to 10,000 years ago. It is particularly prevalent in northern Russians, highlighting their connection to Arctic and Uralic peoples. The maternal story, told through mitochondrial DNA, adds another layer of complexity. Over 98% of Russians belong to West Eurasian haplogroups, underscoring their deep European roots. Interestingly, East Eurasian maternal lineages, while present, remain at low frequencies, revealing a subtle but distinct connection to Siberian populations. Autosomal DNA, which reflects a mix of genetic contributions from both parents, paints a broader picture. Russians share the closest autosomal similarities with other Eastern European populations, such as Poles, Belarusians, and Ukrainians. However, what sets them apart is the significant Siberian-like ancestry found in northern populations, which distinguishes Russians from their Slavic neighbors. These unique genetic markers not only highlight Russia's diverse ancestry, but also reveal how geography and history have shaped the nation's genetic landscape. Russia's genetic diversity is not uniform. It varies significantly between the northern and central southern regions of the country, reflecting centuries of migration and local adaptation. This divide is one of the most striking features of Russian DNA. 
In the northern regions, genetic studies reveal a much higher prevalence of haplogroups associated with Finno-Ugric and Siberian populations, such as N2 and N3. These haplogroups are tied to ancient Uralic-speaking groups that inhabited these areas long before the arrival of the Slavs. In some northern populations, the frequency of N3 exceeds 35%, a stark contrast to the southern regions, where it drops below 10%. This genetic signature highlights the enduring influence of Arctic and Uralic ancestry in the north. In the central and southern regions, the genetic story shifts. Here, haplogroup R1A1 dominates, reaching frequencies of over 55%. This haplogroup is emblematic of the Slavic migration that began around the 6th century CE. The central southern population also shares a close genetic resemblance with Poles, Ukrainians, and Belarusians, underscoring their shared Slavic heritage. This divide is further reflected in autosomal DNA. Northern Russians display significant Siberian-like ancestry, with some studies estimating it to be as high as 13%. In contrast, central southern Russians show little to no Siberian influence, aligning more closely with other Eastern Europeans. Geography played a key role in shaping these genetic differences. The forests, rivers, and tundras of the north created natural barriers, preserving the genetic legacy of ancient Finno-Ugric populations. Meanwhile, the open plains of the south facilitated the migration of Slavic tribes and their assimilation of local groups. This north-south divide is not just a genetic phenomenon. It also reflects cultural and linguistic differences within Russia. Northern dialects, for example, contain traces of Finno-Ugric linguistic elements, while southern dialects are more distinctly Slavic. Together, these genetic and cultural contrasts paint a vivid picture of how Russia's vast geography has shaped its people over millennia. The genetic diversity of Russians is a direct result of the layers of ancient populations that contributed to their DNA over thousands of years. Each migration, conquest, and cultural interaction left a lasting imprint, creating the complex genetic mosaic we see today. The first major contributors were the Neolithic farmers, who arrived from the Near East about 7,000 to 8,000 years ago. They brought agricultural practices and genes that shaped the early genetic landscape of Europe, including parts of what is now Russia. These farmers introduced West Eurasian haplogroups into the gene pool, which are still prevalent in Russians today. Later, during the Bronze Age, the steppe nomads made their mark. These Indo-European-speaking populations from the Pontic Caspian steppe spread their genes and culture across Europe and Asia. The Kurgan culture, in particular, played a significant role in this expansion, introducing the R1A1 haplogroup into Slavic populations. These nomads not only brought their genes but also influenced early Russian language and culture. In the northern regions, the assimilation of Uralic-speaking tribes left a distinct genetic signature. These tribes, who lived in the Arctic and Ural regions, contributed haplogroups like N2 and N3, which are still prevalent among northern Russians. Their influence is also evident in the Finno-Ugric substratum found in northern Russian dialects. Further south, the genetic story is different. Here, Turkic and Mongolic groups, such as the Khazars and the Golden Horde, contributed smaller but detectable amounts of steppe and Asian ancestry. These interactions, though less impactful than those in the north, added subtle genetic diversity to the southern Russian populations. The East European plain also saw waves of migration and assimilation during the Slavic expansion. From the 6th to 9th century CE, Slavic tribes spread across the region, absorbing local populations like the Baltic and Uralic speakers. This process helped solidify the genetic foundation of modern Russians, particularly in the central and southern areas. The genetic traces of these ancient populations are not just historical artifacts. They are living evidence of Russia's complex past. Each layer of ancestry, from Neolithic farmers to Bronze Age nomads and Uralic tribes, contributes to the unique genetic identity of the Russian people today. One of the most fascinating aspects of Russian DNA is the Siberian-like ancestry found primarily in northern populations. This genetic connection highlights how Russia serves as a bridge between Europe and Asia, with influences from both regions shaping its people over thousands of years. The Siberian influence can be traced back to migrations that occurred 4,000 to 8,000 years ago. Haplogroups like N1C1 and N3 are key markers of this ancestry. These lineages are closely associated with Uralic-speaking populations and ancient groups from southern Siberia, who moved into the northern regions of the East European plain. 
Their genes are found in high frequencies among northern Russians, distinguishing them from their central and southern counterparts. Interestingly, despite the geographic proximity to East Asia, Russian DNA shows minimal representation of typically East Asian haplogroups like Q and C. This indicates that the Siberian-like ancestry in Russians is not the result of recent gene flow from East Asia but rather an ancient connection that predates the rise of modern East Asian populations. The northern environment played a significant role in preserving this genetic legacy. Harsh Arctic climates and dense forests created natural barriers, isolating the populations of the north and maintaining the unique genetic signatures of these early settlers. Today, northern Russians share a genetic affinity with Finno-Ugric populations like the Sami, Komi, and Mari, highlighting their shared ancestry with these Arctic and Uralic groups. This Siberian-like ancestry isn't just a historical relic, it also influences the cultural and linguistic identity of northern Russians. Finno-Ugric elements in northern dialects and traditions reflect the deep connection between genetics and culture in this region. By contrast, Central and Southern Russians display little Siberian ancestry. Their DNA aligns more closely with other Eastern Slavs, such as Poles and Ukrainians, emphasizing their shared Slavic heritage. This stark genetic contrast between Northern and Southern Russians is one of the most unique features of the Russian genome. Ultimately, the Siberian influence in Russian DNA underscores the country's position as a genetic and cultural crossroads. It represents a rare blend of East and West, making Russian genetics truly one of a kind. Russian DNA is not just a biological marker. It's deeply intertwined with the nation's culture, language, and traditions. The genetic diversity of Russians reflects their history of migrations, assimilation, and adaptation, which in turn shaped their identity. In the northern regions, the genetic influence of Finno-Ugric populations is evident in more than just DNA. Northern Russian dialects, for instance, carry linguistic traces of Finno-Ugric substrata, reflecting centuries of interaction with Uralic-speaking tribes. These dialects feature unique phonetic patterns, vocabulary, and syntax that distinguish them from Central and Southern Russian speech. Meanwhile, in the Central and Southern regions, the Slavic core dominates both genetically and culturally. These areas exhibit stronger ties to other Eastern Slavs, such as Ukrainians and Belarusians, with shared traditions, language structures, and folk customs. The genetic continuity in these regions reinforces their cultural unity and their role as the heartland of the Slavic world. Religion also played a part in shaping cultural identity. The assimilation of diverse groups, Uralic, Turkic, and steppe populations, was often accompanied by the spread of Orthodox Christianity. This shared faith helped unify disparate communities under a common cultural framework, further blending their identities. Additionally, the North-South genetic divide mirrors differences in lifestyle and traditions. Northern Russians, shaped by their Finno-Ugric heritage and Arctic environment, developed unique survival strategies, food practices, and seasonal festivals suited to their harsh climates. In contrast, Southern Russians, influenced by their Slavic neighbors, share agricultural traditions, music, and cuisine that reflect a milder environment and close ties to Eastern Europe. This interplay of genetics, culture, and language highlights the unique story of Russian identity. It's a living example of how DNA isn't just about ancestry. It shapes how people live, speak, and interact with the world around them. In recent years, Russian DNA has become the center of global attention, not just for scientific discoveries but also for political and ethical debates. From cutting-edge research to privacy concerns, the role of DNA in modern Russia reveals the complexities of genetics in today's world. One of the most controversial topics is the collection and analysis of Russian DNA by foreign entities. Russian authorities have voiced concerns about foreign organizations systematically collecting DNA samples from Russians of various ethnicities. President Vladimir Putin himself raised questions about the purpose of this research, suggesting it could be linked to sensitive military or biological projects. These concerns have fueled speculation about the potential misuse of genetic data, such as the development of ethnicity-specific biological weapons. Adding to this, Russia has dramatically expanded its own state DNA database, mandating the collection of genetic information from a wide range of individuals, including those detained for minor offenses. While the government claims this is essential for crime prevention and national security, critics argue that it poses serious risks to privacy. DNA contains highly sensitive information, 
not only about an individual's identity but also their ethnicity, family ties, and even predisposition to certain diseases. The lack of independent oversight over the use of this data has raised alarms about potential misuse. On the scientific front, DNA studies in Russia have made groundbreaking discoveries about health, ancestry, and the genetic factors behind diseases. For instance, Russian geneticists have used DNA analysis to trace ancient migrations, uncover the origins of different ethnic groups, and identify genetic markers linked to resilience against certain diseases. These studies not only provide insight into the past but also have practical applications in medicine and public health. However, this progress comes with ethical dilemmas. The mass collection of genetic data, coupled with advancements in artificial intelligence, has created fears about the misuse of this information for surveillance or discriminatory practices. Russia's embrace of mass biometrics, including facial recognition and DNA databases, highlights the fine line between security and privacy. The modern debate over DNA in Russia underscores the powerful role genetics plays, not just in uncovering the past but in shaping the future. Whether through groundbreaking research or controversial policies, Russian DNA remains a topic of global significance. Russian DNA presents a fascinating paradox. It is simultaneously unique and deeply connected to neighboring populations. This duality reflects the complex history of migrations, cultural exchanges, and genetic blending that have shaped the nation's identity. On one hand, Russian DNA exhibits a distinct blend of Slavic and Siberian-like ancestry that sets it apart from other populations. Northern Russians, for instance, carry genetic markers linked to Uralic-speaking and Arctic populations, such as haplogroups N2 and N3, which are rare in most other Slavic groups. This Siberian influence gives Northern Russians a genetic profile that bridges the gap between Europe and Asia. At the same time, Central and Southern Russians share a strong genetic continuity with their Eastern Slavic neighbors, Ukrainians, Belarusians, and Poles. This connection is most evident in the dominance of the R1A1 haplogroup, a marker of Indo-European ancestry that unites Slavic populations across Eastern Europe. This paradox becomes even more intriguing when viewed on a larger scale. Despite their unique Siberian influences, Russians belong to a broader genetic network that spans much of Europe. The majority of Russian mitochondrial DNA, over 98%, belongs to West Eurasian haplogroups, emphasizing their deep European roots. Autosomal DNA studies further confirm that Russians are most closely related to other Eastern European populations, with subtle yet significant differences that reflect their unique history. The genetic paradox also extends to cultural and linguistic connections. While northern Russians bear the genetic and linguistic imprint of Finno-Ugric populations, central southern Russians maintain a strong Slavic identity, linking them to a shared cultural heritage with other Eastern Europeans. This duality, being both unique and connected, makes Russian DNA a powerful example of how genetics can tell the story of a nation. It shows that even as populations adapt and evolve in response to their environment and history, they remain tied to the broader human story. Russian DNA is more than a collection of genetic markers. It's a living chronicle of thousands of years of migrations, cultural interactions, and resilience. From the ancient Slavic tribes who laid the foundation of modern Russia to the Siberian influences in the north and the Slavic ties in the south, the genetic makeup of Russians reflects a history as vast and diverse as the country itself. What makes Russian DNA truly fascinating is its ability to unite seemingly contradictory traits. It is a unique blend of East and West, shaped by Siberian ancestry and European heritage. Yet, it also connects Russians to their Slavic neighbors, underscoring their shared history and identity. The North-South genetic divide, the influence of ancient populations, and the modern-day controversies surrounding genetic research all contribute to the complexity of this story. Russian DNA isn't just a result of historical events. It has shaped culture, language, and traditions leaving a lasting impact on the identity of the Russian people. As science continues to uncover the secrets written in our genes, Russian DNA serves as a reminder of the power of genetics to illuminate the past and connect us to our shared humanity. So, the next time you wonder about what makes a population unique, remember that the answer might just be written in their DNA. What do you think about this fascinating journey through Russian genetics? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the incredible stories hidden in history, science, and culture.